ka Jingpur stat jong ukhyang Jingpang ki masi ka balakot ka lampis kin disis kala pensalia ya ki brio ban bam bandi ya ka dot masi Henry Habia Keren bat u join director jong ka directorate of animal husbandry and veterinary UHK Mara ula pendikna ba ka dot masi bat ka dot masi kan om kata AA Henry day banda tiu baha ya ka dot bandi bat shet baha ya ka dot shua ban bam Henry kham kiar ya ka dot that namar ka day ka ba shupen khyang ya ka dot tang da ka tedem Haba keli ula ong bahadu menta kat kum gejing yuk haka report jongka opis. Haduk lai hajar san sepak tam ki masi ki bala syak ketak ha uni ukenyang jingpang ha keleng gejaka. Bat arpa kenai teli ki masi ki bala itu tikna baki yap na uni ukenyang jingpang. Ula ong bahadu menta kamdun kadawai ban penkiak ya uni ukenyang. Hendri kila tang ban ai da ki tika ya ki masi ki badang kot kenang bantik lakam ya ke jingpur. Ula kentu ya ki nongri masi haga jala ba kenang bantik lakam ya ke jingpur uni ukenyang. Kiri ban set ya ki masi ki bapang laka jong bat ban lek khut ya ke sem. Kenang ba kiksan kinom yuk ban boy bat ya ki bala yuk ya ke ni ke virus ruk. Ula ai jingmut ba kilak ban penkelan da usyen rai tangkum ke jing yada. Bat ula ong bala dayap ki masi day ban atep ha ku ba hendri uput ee ee hapok kendo. Okay, lumpy skin disease or LSD. It is an infectious viral disease that affects mainly cattle. Hmm. It is called by a lumpy skin disease virus belonging to the genus of Capripox virus. So the disease causes huge and sufficient economic loss to the farmers. Okay. So this LSD, it, it can affect all ages and breeds of cattle and it is very contagious among the cattle. Hmm. So how it transmitted from animal to animal? So this, this virus is mainly transmitted by the biting of the flies of the uh, biting of the flies, mosquitoes and ticks. And it can also be uh, transmitted to a lesser extent with the infected animals, the contaminated needles, feed, water and other equipment that is being used in uh, animals, in the cattle. So uh, we talk about the signs and symptoms. Mostly the first symptom that we'll observe in case of LSD is high fever, then loss of appetite, then weakness, there may be running nose, high distress and excessive salivation. These are the prom uh, one of the prominent symptoms and the most prominent symptom will be development of skin nodules all over the body. And these nodules are found, it's round and raised. I think it's quite visible in those affected animals. So some of the limb nodes and will also be enlarged. And in case of female animals, sometimes abortion and abortion also take place. So now this disease is being spreading almost in all, most of the villages of the districts of Meghalaya. So we have to take uh, utmost care in preventing diseases. So what is the preventive method? So the best preventive method for controlling disease is this, whenever anybody observe a cattle swing, the signs and symptoms like uh, having fever, nodular skin disease should be immediately separated from other healthy animals and they should not be allowed to graze with the other healthy animals also and avoid, try to avoid direct contact of the infected animals with other animals. And efforts also should be made to reduce the population of insects flies and mosquitoes so because these are the vectors that is to transmit the diseases and in case uh, if uh, there is no other solution at, uh, to prevent these insects and mosquitoes then care should be taken to apply these animals with some insect replant to minimize the to minimize the transmission of the diseases so like i said strict control of the movement of animals from affected areas to other disease free animals should be looked into and even in the local market also if such animals are detected it should be allowed I mean it should be prohibited so in fact animals should be kept separately from other healthy animals and avoid in such cases like I was telling about grazing together no? natural mating also should be avoided so other things that could be done to prevent the disease is a restriction of movement uh, from the infected uh, cattle set to other sets and at the same time movement of animals from other disease-free areas to the infected village and the movement of animals from the infected village 
to other free uh, disease free villages so follow try to follow thorough cleaning and disinfection of the cattle sets and the surroundings if possible including even the vehicles and the disinfectants with a formalin of phenyl or sodium hypochlorite so uh, these are the some of the preventive measures that can be taken up to prevent the spread of this disease now this lsd remember this lsd is not transferable to human so milk and meat are safe to be consumed but after proper boiling and cooking remember it should be properly cooked and pro it should be properly boiled then only we can consume both meat and meat and supposing if any dead animals occurs due to lsd it should be disposed of by deep burial methods roughly around six feet by you and it should be covered by arch and then using lime and bleaching powder so as of now in Meghalaya also we have observed the spread of diseases in different different villages and it's becoming quite an endemic so as of now we have around reported 3500 plus LSD affected in cattle and out of that around 29 animals have died as reported as, as per the re report that we have received so there is nothing to be panicked about but the only thing is that try to follow the guideline that has been adopted by the government of india and as of now regarding this lsd as a department we are trying making every effort to contain this disease by way of awareness and then in sensitization we visit set to set in the villages also and we are trying to create awareness among the people what should be done and what should not be done so people should not panic about the diseases it's a uh, though there is no specific treatment for uh, this lsd as of now but we can go for we are doing going for for this symptomatic treatment uh, but especially when this disease occurs in the animal animal may feel, feel pain so uh, we are trying to do the symptomatic treatment like some with some painkiller or some pyretic this is in case of fever so we are taking up all this kind of treatment and if necessary we are also treating them with antibiotic but antibiotic is the last resort we normally we try to do it with symptomatic treatment so in case of those nodules and all if the rapture we can apply the medicine that is supplied by the department and if if there's any farmer anybody who uh, want to know about more about this uh, disease they can go to a nearest to the nearest veterinary aid center or they can come to the district head office also or to the director director also and like i said our department is trying a level best to contain this disease uh, we are we have vaccinated around 4800 plus uh, animals and we will be doing more of vaccination program in the coming days so this is all about lsd